Hello good people at Global Metal Apocalypse, this is Galva Rechitza, representing Frisian and Kosovo in the state of that pandemic. To answer the first question, COVID-19 has been a strong blow for every band in Kosovo, obviously, because of lockdown recommendations, well not recommendations, but orders, you know, and uh, basically as far as our band personally is concerned. We were in the middle of recording our second studio album, which had already been postponed to the lack of gear, lack of uh, financial support from the state, and multiple other reasons, in contributing the fact that we haven't put out an album since our first, sadly. But yeah, COVID definitely did did give us you know a a huge blow blow to the gut because even if we do finish it during the pandemic we can't even perform it you know we and what what is metal without a live performance where people actually you know get to feel the music get to mosh and do do what we do you know during during a metal show where we're actually having a good time but sadly at least you know it's going to come out eventually the show is going to be great and I guess all we can do is think positive and say, you know, this time was gonna mess us up, but in the long run, we're gonna we're we're gonna have a better show and a better album release because of it. So I guess we can't complain. At least you know we're still we're still alive. Second question: uh, There have been multiple restrictions in Kosovo. At the beginning, there was just a simple, simple you know, stay at home, no school, no cafes, just stay at home a loose recommendation by the state but after uh there have been multiple cases after that uh they started they started uh adding a martial law where you can go out after eight o'clock uh uh 20 i guess in the 24 hour spectrum of things uh you can go out past 8 p.m basically then it got pushed back to 4 p.m and then they developed a system where you only had one hour and a half per day, de depending on the penultimate number of your ID or password if you're an international citizen. So yeah, that was, mm, there have been fairly strict, strict laws as far as, you know, moving is concerned. And we've been, we've been dodging police to actually get, get some work done. Which, you know, it's, I don't, I don't think that's anything new to Metalhead. You know, dodging police to make music, maybe not in America, but in, in a country where, you know, like, uh, a lot of people are against, actually, actually have feelings against toward it and actually fight towards production of metal. You know, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling that we're still this, you know, uh, behind in mentality but either way you know it's it's gonna it's a hard situation we're powering through it and yeah those were the restrictions that we've had as far as time is concerned uh it it's affected the kosovo metal scene third question by the way it's affecting the kosovo metal scene in uh good ways and bad as i said all the bands have have things on hold now shows and shows recordings demos band practices even you know everything is done stopped but either way we it, each one of the musicians in the scene has used this time to at least try to do something productive for instance me myself and 17 other underground metal musicians came together to perform uh perform a song which is called Reset the World by Defy Them, which is a local record label that I, I work for. And it's 18 metal musicians in a song which I had the pleasure of mixing. And in my opinion, it is a step up from any musical production during the pandemic. At least not a step up, but a more grand scale of things. It's 18 musicians in a single song that goes with a runtime of around six minutes. So, yeah, I'm very proud of it and thankful to, I, thankful to the pandemic for giving me that opportunity to actually have the, 
have the pleasure of recording drums in in one space and you know getting di's from 17 other amazing musicians and then just trying to you know cram it all into a song and mix it to be as coherent as i possibly could being a being a first year audio engineering uh student so yeah it has for the most part yes it has had a negative effect on the metal community but there are some pot positives to take away from all the chaos that has been happening and my final words to the community is stay strong uh, you know some have it easier than others and some have it so much harder than we do so be grateful for what you have and just just do you make make your music don't get caught up in all the all the terror and horrible things and the lies that have been spreading around on social media and and all that shit. You know, just stay you. You can do it. Just create your music. And if you can make music that'll capture emotions of multiple people, you won't have to deal with any any social politics whatsoever, in my opinion. So with that being said. Everyone stay safe. Much love. Greetings from Kosovo. Peace.